Hi guys, Lynn Andrew with the Red Carpet Report. We are at the Beverly Hilton for the Thirst Project. If you haven't heard of this project, you really need to go and check it out. Freshwater wells are being built all across the world. We're going to talk to a bunch of celebrities who are involved, so come on, let's go check it out. How did you get involved with the Thirst Project? When I was Miss California last year, Jason Fry, who's on the board of directors, reached out to me and you know tried to get me involved with it. But I was so busy at pre-med, I was in research, interning at Hogue Hospital, so I had I didn't really have the time to do it. But now that I have my year off, my crown's gone. It's been nice to get involved and really help make a difference with this charity. You are involved in so many things. How do you find the time to do it all? I don't. <laughs> um, you know what? I use my iPhone calendar. It is yeah. the handiest thing in the world. You know. Yeah. Every time I get an email, I put it straight into my yeah. calendar and it just organizes all the events for me perfectly. Yeah. I tell my friends all the time I live by my calendar. Like little things. Like, oh, pay this bill by this date. It's the only option. I'd be so lost without it. So, good job, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Apple. So, um, are you presenting today as well? I'm not. I'm just basically here to support Jason. He's going to be presenting, so... I'll give him a big round of applause and a little woo. <laughs> and how far in pre-med are you? So you're almost, what, what year are you in? I actually just graduated last Sunday. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really excited about it. So I have about a year off before I start med school and the rest is history. Actually, the rest is about eight years. <laughs> Do you know what uh, you're most interested in? Like what brought you to medicine? You know, when I was young, I still struggle with it a little bit, but when I was younger, I had acne that covered my entire face. It, you know, as a model, I've been a model for 13 years. It was very, it, it affected me a lot. And, you know, I was made fun of because of it, especially in high school. So I, you know, was in and out of dermatologist's office weekly, on a weekly basis. And I think getting to know them so well and seeing what they do, and I actually created my own skin regime and it cleared up my skin. So just something I've been passionate about. So I'm definitely headed towards the dermatology route, but still people say never make up your mind Cause yet. You never know. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. what the experiences will be as you go through school. But I absolutely agree with you. We did an event not too long ago where, you know, skin is so important when you're growing up and you don't realize how much it affects your self-esteem, but yet we're all so hard on each other. You know what I mean? That's why whenever... You know, I'm a big advocate for girls' self-esteem, you know, gaining confidence and finding that within you. I've, whenever I have an opportunity to speak at those sorts of events, I always tell my story, you know, because I was, you know, the classic cliche, ugly ducking, you know. Beautiful swan. I love that. I don't know if I would say that, but yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by and best wishes to you and everything that you do. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and comment. What charities are you involved with? Let us know and maybe we'll come and cover it. Bye for now.